Welcome to I Love Stocks, take four, I think, this morning. So we're going to do this right this time. We're going to be looking at my options challenge, stocks that I'm in in my options challenge. Yesterday, I kind of sweated it out. I was in some couple swings, General Motors and IQ, and they both went red on me. So I averaged down on them, and then I bought Apple yesterday, scalped it my other account and then added it to my options account for an overnight swing so let's go straight into Apple I'm in the April 16th 128 strike and I really like the news on this thing I think this is a catalyst to break 130 and we're gonna go ahead and look at the chart but I've got how many contracts uh, I got two of them so I just went ahead and bought two and then I think we'll be up pretty good in this trade and then I'm going to go ahead and probably make a decision if I want to swing it into next week or if I want to go ahead and take my profit today and then maybe buy an option into next week. And that'll be right around the 23rd. And then I'll be looking at the same one here, probably this 170 strike. Could even go longer, you know. I mean, I, I could take this all the way to May and buy a contract here at 130 at the at this price right here at 415 so we'll see we'll see how she's running and see what she looks like but we're going to go ahead and look at the chart right now and i'm very bullish on apple i always have been under 120 and right now we're at 129 in the pre-market hours so this was a nice trade off this 200 i like trading off the smas for a support level plus i use extended trend lines the only algorithms I mostly use is the moving averages. And then I have my own extended trend line pattern, which people used to call them Fibonacci's, but I just look at them at places of breakouts and consolidation and chart patterns. And I've been playing them diagonally, horizontally, uh, ascending triangles, descending triangles, inverse head and shoulders. Uh, I got candlestick patterns that I really like that I play off of uh, three black crows three white soldiers and there's just so many of them and it's helped me out in my scalping ability to get in them trades real early so Apple if we can bust past 130 I'm going to take this up to the yearly spread this apart I think we need to break like I said right here right at that 128 let me see what that level was. 128.30, if I remember right. We'll go back to the five minute. Um, yeah, this area right in here, this 128.30, that was my resistance level to break. And you can see we're well after that. And I don't think you'll have too many bears on this today because there's a lot of people talking about Apple. It's in the news. A lot of fat cats are talking about it. Plus, Miss Vegas has it on her dark pool list. And our X Wall Street's in it long, and he, you know, he trades stocks real long and likes to hold them. Buys on the dips, consolidates, and then comes out with a pretty good profit. So I'm bullish on this one too. We just broke that 129, so we are going to go higher, I do believe. And that resistance level, I'll find it here back on the yearly chart. Magnify this up a little bit. Is going to be this 130 area. If we can break 130. We'll get past 130.94, 132, and then that 133.21 with a strong support. And let's go ahead and just chalk it in. Let's look back here at that one minute. Strong support area is going to be this channel right down in here. It's between that 127.46 and that 127.74. If it breaks down, down into this here little Darvis box, it could go ahead and pull back into here and find a little pivot point in this channel right here at around 12715. But let's see if we can hold this 12830, break out 130, and then those other resistance levels. So that's Apple. The next one we're going to talk about that's on the list that's in my options challenge is going to be General Motors. Now I'm bullish on General Motors. I called this out last year before President Biden Biden was elected. I said the EV car market is a great play and that General Motors would reach $75 in 2021 and I think I'm on track pretty well we're up about 20 bucks on this trade and this is the first time that General Motors had a decent breakout 
in almost 17 years. So it is due, and there's a lot of institutions that do own this trade that have been scalping it up and down, up and down in that little channel of support. So I'm in this six. I'm in the April 30th. I got plenty of time to hold this trade. April 30th. I'm in at the $65 strike, and I have seven contracts. I did cost average down yesterday. Last time I got in here, it was right around 102, and I bought two more. So yeah, I'm 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 loaded on this stock. My average is 136. I wanted to go ahead and buy more yesterday, and I didn't do it. But that's where I am with it. And right now, after close, it was at 93. So we'll see how this trade works out. Look at that. Apple's still moving up. General Motors. So we'll see how this trade goes. I need to break resistance of 61.47. If I can get up there, I'll bring it up to this red line of right around 62.88 and probably exit the trade and then reassess. But I'm down on this one too. I just want to try to break even on this one here or maybe get out a little ahead. But like I said, I've got three weeks on this trade and we'll see how it goes. And that's General Motors. Low support. Uh, I can't see it going any lower and hold this support here at 6082. That's where I want it to hold. If not, we can drop down a little bit lower. But I want to break resistance, like I said, at 6147. We're pretty close to it. And then bring it up to the red line at 6208. And that's going to be General Motors. The next one on the list that's on my challenge is the one that really had me worried yesterday, and that was IQ. I just can't stand the media. Here's one that I'm in April 16th. I'm in the $19 strike. I have eight contracts with an average of $0.84. Cents. I think we'll be there today. This one I really like to set up on the chart, and we're going to look at it here on my SMA chart. That's going to be IQ. I had a support channel down here that I talked about. I said, you know, I wanted to see it hold this area of 1744. We hit 1743, and then we had a resistance to break here at 1769. Now I should darken this up into a different cloud, different, um, I think I will. Just make this a different color. And we'll darken this here, turn that into a light gray. That's going to be your first support channel with a pivot point in that channel at 1755. Now I want this stock to go ahead and break this 1820 today. And if we can get past 1820, that next resistance level is going to be right here around 1848 with an 1874 and a double top at 1890. If I can get up to 1890, this is going to look real nice. And that's going to be IQ. Now what had me, I thought the setup was great, and I'll show you what I looked at when I was in this trade. We'll look at the 20 day, and I'll magnify this up here. We did have that hard sell off, and I think it was overdone. And then that was a couple weeks ago, and then we've had higher lows on it. So we started to have the squeeze, and then she went ahead and broke out on good news. The next day comes in, and the news is not so good. So the media is working against us. And today, the news is good. So this was a, new, a roller coaster ride to me because I was down quite a bit on this trade, more than 600 bucks at one time. And I almost thought about selling. And I said, blanket. I want to go ahead and cost average down and take the big risk because if you don't risk the biscuit, sometimes you don't make the profit. But I was, like I said, it was a real hard emotional day to me on this stock here. And I just, it just got a hold of me. And I just said, okay, I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to sell. There's many times where I want, I had my finger on that exit button. And I said, I can't, I can't do it. Cause I, I love, I love the setup. So let's see if we can break 1820, bring it up to 1848 strong support level, or this is going to be your first channel down here at 1769 if it does pull back to that area. So keep an eye on this channel. You can stop this at any time and write these numbers down. 
you know if we do have a double bottom at 1744 i'll probably load up more but that's it for the market report i wish everybody a great day uh, i love stocks miss vegas she's the money flow queen you can see so if you're not a member to our room you can go ahead and follow some of her alerts in here that's great and then also on our website we do have links to our stock twits links and we'd appreciate it if you follow us on them and you can get our alerts in here too and this is my room and then miss vegas has her room also and she's posting alerts in here too and then i do videos and post them in here so if you haven't subscribed please do hit that like button if you do like to and always hit ring that bell if you want future notifications and always remember i love stocks We'll go ahead and pull us back to the website. You can always type in I-L-U-V-S-T-O-C-K-S, -S, and that'll take you to our landing page. And there should be a link down below. Have a great day, and today is Thursday.